Hello and welcome. In this video, I just walk you through a use case of illegal bid. And for this, I am considering a very simple FSM which is written in system barrel. Okay, let me explain you. We are considering a three states FSM S0, S1, and S2. And to define states in system very log HDL, we, we can use type definum to define these states, right? So as you can see here, over here, type def enum bit 1 down to 0. So 2 raised to power 2 will be 4, right? But out of 4, just we want to make use of 3, right? So S0, S1, and S2. And by default, it will take the values something like S0 is equal to 0, S1 is equal to 1, and S2 is equal to 2. And we want to ignore S3 over here. So how to use that, we'll try to understand. Let me explain you the FSM first. <clears throat> so as you can see over here, I'm defining the inputs and outputs as a logic. Okay. And inputs are there like reset clock and X and output is equal to output is Y. Right? And for this uh, type definum, I'm defining the states and for this state variable, I'm defining present state and next state. Now here is a present state logic. As you are aware that present state logic is a sequential logic. Right? So always underscore FF at the rate passage of the clock. Synchronous reset I'm using here. If reset, present state will be zero, as zero. Else present state will be next state. Now the next state logic is a combinational logic, right? And inside this, I'm using a case construct. And inside a case, I'm using a present state. So based on the present state, if input uh, is 1 or 0, we are defining the next state. So as you can see, if we are in a S0 state and input is 1, then the next state will be S1, else next state will be S0 itself. Now let's see S1. If x is equal to 1, then next state will be S2, else next state will be S1 itself. Now in S2 state, if x meaning the input is equal to 1, then next state will be S0, else next state will be S2 itself. In the default state, we are defining S0. Now the output logic. So the output will be high in S2 state only, and rest all the states in, in all the other states, output will be 0. So as you can see, for S0 and S1, y the output is equal to 0. Over and default output we are mentioning is here. Okay, so this is what a simple FSM. And for this simple FSM, I'm writing a very simple you know, linear test image. So I'm defining all the inputs and outputs as a logic. And I'm instantiating our design here. If a simple FSM, DOT name. <coughs> and the DOT, any instance you can give over here. And I'm using dollar, sorry, dot star to instantiate our input and output over here. Now generating a clock always has always hash 5 clock is equal to not of clock. Within initial begin block, I'm writing some stimulus. So reset time making high after 3 time unit, th uh, after 30 time unit, I'm making reset is equal to 0. And after 40 time unit of that, I'm defining the input is equal to 1. Very simple. In another initial begin block, after 500 time unit, I'm just calling the dollar stop. So it will suspend the simulation. Now for this, if you want to define a cover group, how to define that? It is very simple. Cover group CG, in group, right? CG. In that time, <clears throat> using option dot per instance is equal to 1 in order to get a detailed analysis of our coverage and the bins. Now here I'm writing the cover point for the present state. So how to access that present state, we have to use this DUT instance right? through which we are instantiating our design. So the cover point DUT dot present state and the curly brace I am de declaring the ex explicit, ex explicit bins. Okay. So I am declaring the vector explicit bins for S0, S1 and S2 states and I am defining illegal bins for these three states. So I am defining Illegal bins ILB label is equal to 3. Okay. So it will ignore this uh, third bit. Now, 
here I'm defining the instance for the cover group within initial begin block, allocating a memory for the cover group. And I'm using a very you know beautiful construct over here. I'm using a while loop. In that I'm defining if get coverage. So this get coverage will actually return the current coverage. If it is less than 100%, till that time at, at every passage of the clock, sample the coverage using this inbuilt sample method. And if the coverage is 100%, just print this message. Now the coverage is 100%. In another initial begin, you can use dump file and dump bears in order to check the waveform. So let me just run this code. So what we are expecting from this, it will create the bins for uh, 0, 1 and 2 and it will ignore this right 3 bins because we are just uh, utilizing this as 0, S1 and S2 states. So if you run this code and analyze the report, you will be able to see the result. Okay. So let me run this code. So as you can see, after running this code, you will find the result something like so bin S0, S1, and S2. Three bins we are creating, explicit bins, and all are covering multiple times. That's why we are getting 100% coverage. As we are using here this uh, get coverage construct, right? So it will sample till we are getting the 100% coverage. Now, <clears throat> if you see uh, the if you just scroll up you'll see this uh, value 3 is used within bin coverage point it will show this warning okay. and it will uh, another warning it will see this ILB are empty and will be excluded from the coverage right because we are defining it as illegal now the assignment for you is to uh, you, what you can do try to use the ignore bins instead of this illegal bin and analyze the report second for the same uh, question you can write the cover point for the next state then inputs and outputs of the fsm okay and i will put the link in the description you can play around the code and if you are finding any difficulty you can put your comments in the comment section. We will discuss over here. Now let me show you another interesting example over here. So let's say uh, it is one of the frequently asked interview question. The question is if we are defining ex explicit bins, okay, let's say for some range and the same range which we are defining explicit bins, if we are declaring it as, uh, you know, ignore bin or illegal bin, then what will happen? So let's try to understand that function. So let's say if we have, uh, you know, a variable A, the size of that is 4 bit, okay. And uh, we are defining the cover group inside the cover group. We are defining the cover point for this particular variable A. And we are defining the explicit vector bins over here for the range 0 to 15, right? So 2 raised to power 4 will be 16, 0 to 15 bins can be created. So we are explicitly creating the vector bins for these range 0 to 15 and the same range we are defining it as a ignore bins. So what will happen yeah, and the things are very simple. The rest of the things are very simple. Just uh, we are using initial begin block to allocate a memory for the cover group and inside a repeat block we are using dollar random dollar u random to generate the random values for this variable a and we are calling this inbuilt sample. And after 500 time units, just suspending the simulation. So if you are defining the bins, explicit bins, and for the same range, if you are defining it that as I ignore me, <clears throat> so you'll find the messages something like this. So from B0 to B15, it will show the messages uh, like the B0 are empty and will be excluded from the coverage. Group. So you can you know consider this as a you know if you are defining the same range explicit bins and for the same bins if we are defining it as ignore bins though so the priority will be for the ignore bins and it will create the empty bins and it will be excluded from the coverage calculation okay so let me run this code and let's analyze the report so that you will 
understand the things clear okay <clears throat> so we'll find the messages something like b0 to v15 are empty and will be excluded from the coverage calculation or coverage report so let me run this code and let's analyze the report so as you can see ignore bins igb occurred 50 times right but it is not showing any percentage over here and if you just scroll up you'll find some messages over here right some warnings so what are the warnings as you can see this b0 are empty and will be excluded from the coverage report till you know 15 you'll find the same messages so the assignment for you for this particular question you can use to even try the illegal bins instead of this ignore bins okay and play around with this code and if you are finding any difficulty you can uh, you know put the things in the comment section okay so with this i hope you have understood one use case of illegal bin okay and another example the another interesting question of uh, if we are defining the range, if we are creating the explicit bins for a particular range, and for the same range, if we are defining it as a ignore bin, what will happen? So it will create the empty bins, okay? and those will not be there for coverage calculation. And you can say those will be excluded from the coverage report. So with this, I hope uh, you have understood the concept of you know ignore bins. And also, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, thanks for watching. Thank you.